one one point you made which i think is also important as uh, to a lot of people who listen is so you talked about um the people that you surround with right yeah. so um as you grew up um all of us we grew up we have friends in school and colleges and sometimes um you know <clears throat> different people move in different pace in their life whether it's socioeconomically or you know uh, family wise and all of and you sort of tend to move out and everyone sort of spreads out so wh- what is your view on friendship i mean a lot of times we feel we get nostalgic with friendship uh, as we grow up but as you go back at, at at your age in your life and you go look back you hardly have many friends left in terms of who you grew up with though you want to talk to them once in a while but it it sort of evolves so as you're saying that you so what you're saying is your circle should change as you grow or as you evolve is that is that what you're saying yes yeah, see i'm not saying that you need to make new friends every every 5 years right i think by the virtue of where you physically mentally logically are in life right mm-hmm. uh, you will have a tribe of people around you right i mean i live in the us i live in north carolina i work in a certain setup um, so geographically and logically i will have a certain configuration of people who i call my tribe now you know my neighbors my coworkers mm-hmm. blah 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 right um but i think and then you have you see childhood friends are very different right i mean the people you grew up with you have a shared history mm-hmm. with them and i think you can reconnect with them at any point in time right um but i think what i'm talking about from a failure or sort of learning perspective is having a view of set of people who can be your counselors at the right time right mm. and knowing who those people are so as an example mm. let's assume you need a surgery right uh, you will not go to your friends mm. to treat you right you will go to a doctor basically mm-hmm. so there is a healer and then there are people who can sympathize with you mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. i think the mistake mm-hmm. we make is we go to the sympathizers for the treatment and that the doctors for the sympathy right the doctor mm-hmm. is very clearly there to treat you he's not going to give you he or she is not going to mm-hmm. give you sympathy the sympathy will and you know the empathy will come from friends and the you know those pe- people around you so i think knowing <laughs> who is for what is a very important aspect mm-hmm. of this right and these by the mm-hmm. way do not need to be your friends they do not need to be your teachers there is a lot of phenomenal content on the internet you can follow people mm-hmm. um or frankly reach out to people i have actually reached out to people like not knowing them to say hey i think you're an expert in this area and i'd love to chat to you about this basically do that you know so sort of mm-hmm. so i think these are very separate things you know your friends and oh, your yeah. counselors are very sort mm-hmm. of different people uh, that sort of is the distinction 